first glance. One may underestimate the lowly orc. However, you must consider that life is not so easy as an orc. Raised with poor dental hygiene and taught that showering is just for pale skins, orcs also have an unnatural ability to grow far too much arm and foot hair, making it quite difficult to find dates. Not to mention that orcish women look freakishly like orcish men. It may have something to do with the amount of arm and foot hair they also bear. The unfortunate result of this fact leaves most orcs rather ill-tempered to say the least, frequently getting recruited by evil warlords or even on an occasion a dark and evil necromancer, making it far too common to find your typical orc pursuing a more intellectual lifestyle. The real truth of the matter is, that if your run-of-the-mill orc is able to conquer these shortcomings, that orc does in fact have some unique natural abilities in the way of growing things to turn into spirits like dark brown delicious loggers. Furthermore, the more industrious and even sociable orc may make for extraordinary entrepreneurial innkeepers. The bottom line is that yes, given the opportunity, a typical orc will eat your common house pet and or small children, but that doesn't necessarily mean that the highly misunderstood orc cannot provide excellent meals, beverages, beds, and even entertainment to their brethren. And with that, I bring you Season 2, a new alpha release of Orcish Inn. The developer of Orcish Inn, Stephen Calling, has just released this newest version, 0.18, to his patrons just yesterday in advance of the public release. Coming soon, being a proud patron myself of Stephen Calling for his work on this bizarre but awesome title, I have the privilege of having the opportunity to share this with you today. For more information on Orcish Inn, or if you want to help support the development of Orcish Inn, I have provided a link in the description down below to Mr. Calling's patron account. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's play some Orcish Inn. I'm so excited. So as you can see now in the game with version 0.18, you start in the Hawker's Balloon. So we get an opportunity to take a look at the world before we decide to land. And this is a great opportunity to kind of see if this area is going to work out as a place to build an inn. Hey, and this is what we're looking for. We're looking for lots of flat terrain with good growing space and lots of raw materials, which we see over here, lots of wood. This looks like a fantastic place to start an inn. This looks wonderful. I think now we could re-roll and procedurally generate a, a new map, but I've had bad luck with that sometimes. So um, if you find a good spot, don't lose it. So let's give it a shot. Let's land here. Wonderful. There we are. Yay. Oh, it's been so long. Ah, here we go. Orcish Inn is in a pre-alpha state, so please bear in mind that features, mechanics, content, balancing, and polish are missing, and bugs and crashes may appear. The game doesn't have a proper flow and progression yet. I'm still searching for the quote-unquote the game in it. And with your feedback, we can make an absolutely weird, adorable, and super slick orc tavern simulation game together. This version of the game does not have any tutorials, so please, please, please read the notifications at the bottom left, the items, descriptions, and the texts in the building menu very carefully as they contain important information. Best wishes, Stephen Calling. Thank you, Stephen. Oh, that's right. Yeah, so this is an indication of where he stands with his Patreon account right now. So his goal is to try and hit about $1,500 a month so that he can continue working on the game without having to go to stream Steam Early Access. And I can kind of understand that. I've heard horror stories too as well with Steam Early Access for developers. So he's trying to do it outside of Steam and then get the game completely finished and then post it on Steam, which is, I, I think, very noble of him. Otherwise, you can't, I believe that the game is still going to be available for free, but you won't be able to get the newest version like this in advance unless you are a Patreon. I myself am donating $5 a month to Steven because I love the game. I think the premise is so unique and it's cool. I love the ambiance. It's just a great little game. I, I think it's really cool and I love to support indie developers. So there we go. There's there's my spiel for Steven. <laughs> so here we are. What's going on? Well, we're an orc. Yes, we are an orc and we are an enterprising orc. We, an, we are an entrepreneurial orc. Uh, I don't remember exactly where, I think it was up here, where all that nice, beautiful, flat flat land was. So our goal is, of course, to build an inn, build beer, grow food, grow crops. Um, it's it's really cool. It's really, really cool. And everything you see in the terrain is, is moldable in a lot of ways. You can chop down trees. You can gather materials. You can pick up flowers. You can replant the flowers. Everything is usable so uh, or most things so we want to make sure that we have near our starting location we have some good water too as well a nice place that we can fish because fishing at the beginning of the game is so important i think hold on i just i'm just coming back because i just want to be sure Okay, so we've got this area over here. This will work great. So before I go any further, let's talk a little bit about the interface. 
So, of course, we have our inebriation level. This is how inebriated we are. And believe it or not, you get bonuses and stuff for being inebriated. Um, we have our body temperature, which is 25%. As you work and stuff, that goes up. And it depends on the time of year, etc. You have your food level. Now, if this runs out, you do not die. It actually starts to fill up with a red bar. And then uh, if it's in red, you can get negative effects, etc. If it's in blue, you can get positive effects. Pretty straightforward. Stamina, same deal. As you work and stuff, it gets drained. To refill it, you're going to have to do things like fish or gamble or do something fun uh sleep also sleeping at night does raise your stamina now if you, your stamina runs out just like food it's not the game it's not game over it actually starts to fill up as red and once it's red there is a possibility of getting negative effects and making your life difficult so you want to try and keep those two stats in the positive now that's not always easy because there's always a lot to do um with orcish in you're always trying to you're always working you're always doing something now the hawker he will kind of follow us until we tell him to stop following us now now the hawker will provide us a way to buy and sell products. We can click on him and we can go, hey, look at all the stuff that we can, whoops, ah, I, I misclicked. So we can look at all the stuff that he has available for sale, including blueprints and stuff, which will become really handy later on. We do start with a little bit of money, but not not a hoard, I don't think. But we started off with enough money to actually get a nice little head start. Keep in mind, building some objects does require gold, so don't go and spend all your money at the hawker right away. You want to kind of take it easy, see what you have first, and then only buy the things that you need, I think. Now, the hawker will buy just about anything from you, and that's really, really, really important. So often you get things that you think are useless. Don't. I mean, don't just drop them, sell them to the hawker. There's no reason why you wouldn't do that. Okay, so let's find a good place to start our inn, and then we will talk about uh, some, of the, uh, some of the tools that we have here on the right side. I think anywhere in here is probably fine. We're going to have to chop some trees. So uh, this these ledges here, we can't actually walk through these ledges. So yeah, that's a bit of a problem. They are a bit of an impedance. But I think if we... Oh, here's some water here too. This will be a nice little spot. I like this. And look at all this raw material down here. This is a great little spot. So first thing I'm going to do before I even talk about the controls is get the hawker planted. So you do start off with something called a hawker post, and that's where the hawker will stop and uh, will meet you when he's around. So we're going to plant the hawker post right here. And I can tell him to stop following me now. I don't know exactly how I don't know exactly how everything works yet in the game because, well, I'm I'm fairly new to this version of the game. Actually, I'm very new to this version of the, of the game. It's only been uh, the last the last I've only maybe played maybe about half an hour of this until now of uh, the newest version. It's been over a year since we played this game, so there's going to be lots that we don't know. So we have our hawker post down. Now let's talk about some of the tools that we have here. So we have our hand tool, which allows us to pick up objects and manipulate. Um, tools like furnaces and sawmills and stuff like that. Then we have our build tool, which has a variety of different things that we can build. Not everything is opened up. As I said, you can buy blueprints and find blueprints. You can discover things on your own too as well. Then you have your axe, which we, you can use to destroy objects like trees. So you can chop the tree as I'm doing right now. And as you can see that we are getting, we are getting some wood. We've got some bark and notice the stars. That's the quality of the objects that we're getting from the tree. Now, you don't want to, you don't want to fill up your bag too much with stuff for a couple reasons. One, um, <laughs> everything has a weight and you can get over encumbered and that, that slows you down dramatically Two, a lot of things degrade over time. I don't think logs are one of those things, but especially food, food and stuff like that does degrade over time. So you don't want to fill up your bags with a whole bunch of food that, I mean, is just going to go to waste anyway. So then we have number four or Q on the keyboard, either one, four or Q works on the keyboard. That is your, uh, fast seed. You, that's where you have access to all of your seeds. So we start off with some oat seeds. And if we hit it again, we can see that we've got some hop seeds. We've got some sugar beet seeds. Don't know. I've never seen that before. And it tells you what you need, uh, of course, in the ground. It tells you that you need the high plant density for the oat seeds. It tells you you need high wetness, win uh, low wind break, low plant density for hop seeds. And sugar beets just needs high eutrophy. We'll talk about those stats later. That's gonna, that's gonna That's a ways from now. Then we have our reaping tool, which is number five on the keyboard. That is what we do to cut grass and, of course, harvest crops. So as you can see, I'm cutting some grass, getting some grass seeds, as well as some grass itself. Don't just drop it because remember I said, you can sell that even to the hawker too as well. He'll buy just about anything. So there we go. And then we've got number six on the keyboard. That's your fertilizer. You need fertilizer to plant crops. So I don't know how we get fertilizer yet. I, I'm going to discover this as we go on. Like I said, there's no tutorial and this is, a lot of this stuff is going to be new to me. So I, I guess we'll figure that out. But that's our quick fertilizer tool. And then we've got number seven which is uh, our bucket. So we can fill our bucket full of water and or other fluids, I think. 
various types of water applied applied to the ground mainly so we can pick up water from the water from the watering hole here and then bring it to our crops i guess i don't know and then we've got number eight which is our fishing rod Oop. oh he needs to eat we're gonna talk we're gonna do that in a second here um eight is our fishing rod which is very very important that's how we raise our stamina at this point in the game fishing during the day will raise your stamina nicely now we are really hungry you'll notice that our status effect in hunger has gone to the red that means there is a possibility of negative effects so we're gonna eat something really quickly we did start off with 50 50 bread so we're gonna eat some bread every piece raises it by like 40 percent so don't overeat it's not necessary and once you've eaten it actually sits there in the queue so you can just hit r later like so and fill it up to the top there you go okay so now we want to raise our stamina up because we've already done a little bit of work it does take it's a little bit of a pain at the beginning to keep these stats up because uh there's there's only a few options to do so uh for example fishing is one of the few things that we can do at the beginning here to raise our stamina so we're just gonna we're gonna throw the line in and it's pretty simple fishing's pretty basic now when it does get windy it's a little bit of a pain to keep your line still and if we got a fish on the line we're gonna notice the bobber do a tiny little bob and then we can catch a fish pretty straightforward uh but for the most part Fishing right now, and, and actually that's really handy. When you do catch a fish, it actually gets you a little bonus to your stamina too as well. So you're euphoric fishing. You are you are euphoric by catching something. Your stamina increases a lot over time. So that's really handy. So fishing, fishing is probably one of the best ways or the only way really at the beginning of the game to raise that stamina up. And basically all you gotta do is keep your line in the water. And when you do catch something, it raises it up even faster. There we go. We caught another fish. I don't know what kind of fish, but we caught a fish. So we'll get our stamina up to full and then we'll go back to starting to work on our tavern. I'm really excited. So when I did play this about a year ago, we did make it fairly far. I think we made it far enough to build beer. I think we made some beer and we almost had our inn done. And then, of course, the game got released. Uh, or, or sorry, a new version of the game got released and uh, our save game was no longer working. So we had to cut it short, unfortunately, but I'm really glad to be back and I'm really glad to be supporting Stephen Calling because I, I think this is gonna be really good. I mean, what other, I mean, I love games. I like games, entrepreneurial games where you're building, you know, a little business. And that's what this is about. It's about building a business. The fact that you're an orc is incidental. <laughs> you're building a business. So we're gonna chop this tree down. I want it gone. And that's gonna require a lot of food and a lot of stamina. We're going to hit R on the keyboard. Keep that keep that food level up. There we go. Now we have a stump. <laughs> and we're getting a lot of wood. That's probably more than... Oh, yeah. We actually got too much wood. Yeah, it's going to be a bit of a problem. So I'm going to build a... I'm going to build... Uh, first thing we're going to have to build is a furnace with the furnace we're gonna have we're, the reason we have to build the furnace is because we need the sawmill the sawmill is used to turn the, the the raw wood that we have into planks and planks is used for building everything so <laughs> we need the sawmill but to build the sawmill we're gonna need some iron as you can see uh right here it shows that we need a piece of iron to get that piece of iron we're gonna need a furnace to get a furnace we're gonna need a little bit of limestone and some wood limestone and wood yes so let's chop or uh bang on this rock here we should be able to get some iron too as well so there's some iron we got some limestone i think we only need five limestone one more there we go yeah you don't want to over harvest which is what i just did i just over harvested we have no room for anything else so let's plant we should be able to plant this sucker the furnace right away perfect we'll just place it here we're going to eventually move this but for it's good here for right now so to use the objects we're going to go to our hand tool and we're going to click on the furnace and we're going to bring over the iron so this tells you how much you're bringing over at a time and you hold shift down and then you click and it brings over c1 if i held this if i went over to the five and i hold down shift i bring over as many as i can in that quality level so if i hold down uh, shift and click this it's going to bring over the two of this quality level so i hope that makes sense and then of course we're going to need some wood as you can see we need wood and raw iron ore to make an iron ingot we can also with the furnace we can make bread but we're going to need oats what do we need we need oats we need yeast and we need fuel and of course we can bake the tuna that we just caught too as well for food so that's kind of cool but for now we just need iron so we're going to bring some wood over we're just going to take the lowest quality wood that we have so click on the lowest quality as well as one and we're going to hold down shift i think only a couple pieces of wood is all we need for this and away it goes see it goes all there it goes just like that it's already uh making our iron for us and we need to get we need to get all this wood off of us so that, you know <laughs> this is perfect so as soon as that iron's done we're going to grab that iron and we're going to plant our sawmill pretty neat eh I, I i don't know i just i like this game it's it's right up my alley it just i don't know it totally appeals to me now it is getting dark and when it's dark 
Stamina does not go up very quickly, if at all. Sometimes it even goes down. I think it actually does go down in the middle of the night. The best way to solve that is, of course, sleeping. We don't have a bed right now, so we can't sleep. It would normally be Zed on the keyboard to sleep, but he needs a bed, as you can see. So we can try to fish at night, but I don't think fishing at night is all that effective for stamina, but maybe we'll catch a fish and it'll raise it up a little bit. We can also eat a little bit here too as well. We don't want to use up all of our food, but we don't really have a choice. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, we did catch a fish. Oh, fantastic. Oh, that's really good. But stamina does, even when you're fishing at night, stamina goes up fairly slowly. Um, it's coming back, slowly coming back. There we go. Because Mostly because we caught a fish. Catching a fish will raise it up pretty nicely. So we'll just keep doing that. Catch another fish. Get our stamina up. It's Actually, it's going up quite nice. I don't. Maybe it is during the day still. I'm not even sure. Hold on. It tells you right here. So light rain, spring, and it's dusk. It's, it's getting dusk right now. Ooh, there's a fish. Oh no, I thought I, I think I had one on the line, but I missed it. Unfortunately, we are really encumbered right now. That's actually going to hinder us a lot too as well. Uh, I think we can build some storage stuff. Uh, we're going to have to get that sawmill down first though. Just need to get that stamina up. Okay, that's that's good. Let's get let's get all this stuff off of us. First of all, we need to get the iron out of the furnace. Whoops, we don't want to fish the furnace. No, <laughs> we want to get the iron out of the furnace. We move things in the same way. So clicking on one, the quality, whatever it is, and and then holding down shift, we can move it over just like so. Uh, we don't need to take all three. Can I put them back? Yeah, let's just take one for now because uh, we, <laughs> we we have too much stuff on us. Okay, so let's build our sawmill. Sawmill is in the same place. It's in production. There we go. And as, it's, as you can see, it needs 25 wood, 25 lumber, and one piece of iron. So let's get that down. Uh, let's put it in a place that's not going to get in our way. There we go. That should be good. Let's go back to our hand tool. Now, as you can see, to build lumber planks, we're just gonna need logs, that's it. We're, and it produces lumber planks and sawdust. We could also produce decorative planks. Uh, we only get five decorative planks and five sawdust. Don't drop the sawdust because you can still sell it to the hawker. Very important to remember. So, but first of all, we need just regular lumber planks. So we're gonna get some of those in here and we're gonna click on the 50 because we're gonna move 50 over. And there we go, it's gonna start working on it. Oh, oh right, it, it only moves over as many in the, category of quality that you're on so even though we're on 50 there's only 16 in the three star category so when i do the shift click it's only going to move over 16. does that make sense i hope so so there's 24 in this quality so we can move those over as well and uh, we can only we can only store a hundred pieces of anything in this unit so uh, we don't want to we don't want to overload it if we fill it all the way up to 100 the machine won't work but it's automatic, so it'll just keep going. We don't have to sit here and babysit it either, but now we're still a little over encumbered. Maybe we can get rid of a, a little bit more of this wood here. Let's go like this. Let's get rid of, like I said, we don't want to fill it all the way up to 100. Uh, we might as well take some of the wood that we've got already. Perfect, and we can start actually planting our inn. Uh, we, we're gonna have to clear more area here too as well. Oh, I wish there was a little bit more of an open area to work with. Still a little encumbered, but not too bad. I suppose we could, I wonder if we could build on, is this ice? I don't know what this is. I wonder if we could build here. I don't see why not. Sure, let's let's build here. This looks really nice. Is this water? I think this is water too as well. Let's. We need to fish, so let's just test this out. Sometimes there's a wind too as well. See, I'm not actually, you can use WASD to move your line, but sometimes there's a wind and it automatically moves it for you. But there we go, caught a fish. Just like that. Oh, I love it. This game is so relaxing. It's very soothing. It's very calming. And the music is nice. Except when somebody's babbling through the whole thing. <laughs> but yeah, at nighttime, because we have no other way to replenish our stamina, we're going to have to spend a lot of time fishing until we get that bed down. And we can't place a bed just out in the middle of nowhere. It has to be, I think it has to be on a floor. I think. I could be wrong. We could experiment with it. Like I said, I'm new to this version. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe we can place a bed just on the ground and then I think we can pick it up later. Ah, we caught a fish. Wonderful. I think that's a mackerel, a three-star mackerel. Now, you can catch objects other than fish. You can also catch weeds and, and you know, stuff that's useless. You can also catch, I think I caught some puffer fishes, puffer fish earlier. Don't eat puffer fish. They're bad for you. <laughs> I didn't learn that the hard way. Don't worry. Because I kind of remember that because I like sushi. <laughs> Ah, another fish. Wonderful. So you can kind of see it bob. It's so slight. It's kind of hard to see actually when it bobs. There it goes. See it? And what did we just catch? What was that? I don't even know what that was. I guess we're going to have to take a look in a second here. I'm just trying to get that stamina back up. Now, fishing at night isn't as good as fishing during the day, but it's the only thing you can do at this point. So I suppose we could eat, get our 
get her uh, get her health back up a little bit there. It's not really health. It's just your hunger, right? And I don't know that you can die by having that this fall to total zero, which means going totally in the red. I don't think you can die from it, but maybe it's possible. I don't know. I haven't actually experimented with that. Ah, Samina, it's going up way too slow. Way too slow at night. The only thing that raises it up here right now really is catching a fish. So if we're not catching a fish, it's not doing any good. Now, during the day when we're fishing, it goes up nicely even if you're not catching fish. But unfortunately at this point, uh, so it is, what is it? It's it's actually the middle, it's the night of day. You are getting exhausted over time, but sleeping during night refills your stamina. Now, sleeping during the day is not as good as sleeping at, during the night. It's It doesn't refill your stamina in quite the same way. During the day, the best thing to do is fish. Ooh, what did we catch? What was that? Hold on, we caught a couple things here. What was this? A wet perfumed bedding. Someone actually tried to boil perfumed beddings in the hope of cooking onion soup. It didn't work out. If put in a bed, it has bed comfort of 45% given selected quality. The bed comfort affects the player's stamina. So this will improve a bed. Interesting. <laughs> we caught that in the water. Fantastic. And we also caught a whole bunch of fish too as well, which is great. So is it, it's dawn. Perfect. And we should be able to get a little bit more stamina during dawn. As a matter of fact, during the day, I think your stamina just goes up as long as you're standing still. But of course, it's better when you're fishing. So yeah, at the beginning here, we're going to be doing a lot of this. <laughs> I have no choice. I, which I don't mind. I find it relaxing. I love fishing in games. It makes me so happy. I, I'm so glad that they that people include fishing in games. And in this game, it's almost mandatory. I mean, it is mandatory. At the beginning, it's totally mandatory. Oh, I, the wind is catching the line here. I just want to kind of get our, our stamina up to max if possible. Oh, the wind's changed direction. So now I have to use the W key to kind of push it so that it doesn't come right back to me. So I can kind of get it out far enough that it stands still. There we go. Very nice. And as you can see, the stamina is coming up at a nice healthy rate now, and we should be at max in no time. I'm just trying to keep an eye on it. I, I probably catch fish all the time, and I don't even know it. But it does a little, it does a, a very different bob than what it's doing right now when you have a fish. And you can, it can really tell, but it doesn't matter. We're almost full. Almost full. Good enough. Good enough. Okay, let's go back to building our inn. <laughs> um, yeah, it's, it's, it's something that we have to do. And you know what? I think, uh, yeah, our sawmill is all the way down here. That's... That's the downside to building over there. So uh, we should have lots of wood available to us. Whoops, we don't want to fish right now. We should have lots available available to us. We've got some. Now it does require a lot of wood to build to build an inn. A lot of wood. So, but let we might as well get started. We could also start planting some crops right away, which isn't a terrible idea because um, we can we can eventually make bread too as well. But I think we're gonna maybe we can build our. If this is ice, I'm, I'm going to feel like such a fool. But I don't think this is ice. I think this is just some kind of sand or something. Maybe we're going to build our castle on sand. Okay, let's get started. So we're going to plant some indoor floors. There's two types of indoor floors. There's a cheap version, which is this one here, the wooden panel floor, or there's a more expensive version. They look different, and they give a different quality to the inn. As you can see, one tavern comfort point and one dorm comfort point for this wooden panel floor. And then this one is three tavern comfort points and three dorm points. So I think we'll just go with the basic one for now. We can always replace the floors later if we want, if we so choose. So let's see if we can... Oh, yeah, we can actually place here. So let's start building our inn. Uh, we're going to go through this wood pretty quickly, though. Um, maybe we should build a house first. And then, yeah, let's build a house. We'll, and maybe convert it into a dorm later. I just want to have a place to put our bed. I wonder if we... And we should experiment with that. Maybe we can actually place a bed now. I don't remember where beds are. It's going to be a little bit of wandering around trying to figure where everything is. Here we go, the bed. So it's going to require 45 of the nice planks to build a bed. And I think eventually we can put bedding onto it too as well. Maybe we should uh, work on some of that. We've got lots of wood on us that we can process at this little sawmill here too as well. So let's get some more of that. Grab all this and... Yeah, we'll just have it continue working on. So we could also do the decorative planks. We need the 45 decorative planks in order to build the bed. But I just want to get more more of that uh, flooring down. We can also start building some walls too as well. Yeah, this is such a neat game. It's so cool. And it's slow. It's slow, but it's fun. It's really fun. Okay, wooden panel floor. Let's get... Uh, I want to have a fairly nice wide room here. Oh, I guess I'm going to have to chop some of this stuff down. So three is our... Chop tool, chop that, and there we go. And, whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, I'm gonna be saying whoops a lot because the interface is still new to me again. I don't have enough resources, so let's go go back, get a little bit more of our wood. I'm almost happy with the floor. Okay, 
Uh, let's grab these 20. Now we're also making sawdust too. We can sell the sawdust to the hawker. Um, also, I think later on sawdust we might be able to use for something else too. I'm not sure entirely. So I'm just going to do this one more row of flooring. We're going to have to eat too as well. Let's eat. Yeah, get that out of the way. We are going through bread at an alarming rate, but we can also eat the the fish that we've captured or that we've caught too as well. Okay, so now let's place some walls. Okay, let's go to our build tool, indoor floors, uh, and then we need walls, walls and fences. We're just going to build the wooden simple wall. Oh, and we're out of resources. <laughs> going to be a lot of this going back and forth, but that's okay. That's what these games are all about is building, right? So uh, we could theoretically have two sawmills working at the same time. I don't see any reason why you couldn't do that. But I don't know. To me, that just seems kind of wasteful at this point. Um, it's slowly going through all that wood. It doesn't even seem like it's going through the wood, but I think each each piece of wood gives us like 20 lumber. So it gives us quite a bit per piece. All right, so let's get the walls. I think it's only one piece of wood per... Oh, maybe it's more than that. No, it's it's 10 per wall. Is there a cheaper wall we can build? Or is that the cheapest? There's the half wall. There's windows. No, I think that's the cheapest. Wow, that's going to take a while. Maybe we should build another sawmill. Let's do that. Because it's going to take forever to build this thing if we only have one sawmill. And I think we probably have the materials to build another one right away. Uh, in, the, in the long run, I mean, if we have to sell a sawmill, we will, right? Uh, so we need to get the rest of that uh, iron from here. Let's grab that. And let's go back and build another sawmill, like so. Let's put that right here and get the rest of our wood. Uh, hmm. It's in the way. It's fine. I'll go around. Whoops. Okay, hand tool. There we go. And uh, did I have any more wood on me? Ugh. When you scroll down, it actually scrolls through the... When I when I use the mouse wheel, it actually scrolls through all the tools here. I, I want it to... I, I want it when I'm sitting here. I want it to actually move through the different menus, but it doesn't work that way. Yeah, it doesn't work that way. So uh, let's go back to our hand tool. So when I'm in the menu here, I want to scroll down, but it doesn't work, right? If I try to scroll down, it goes to a different tool. Okay, so let's go... Is there any more wood in our inventory? I thought we had... Oh, there it is. So we've got a little bit more wood here. Let's grab that. We'll throw that in the second sawmill. Oh, wait a second. Oh, we've already done that. Okay, perfect. So, and let's grab the wood from here. Let's maybe grab 10 of this or some of this wood and put it into the other sawmill. So that'll just be a little bit more efficient. There we go. So, because <laughs> it's really slow. If we if we can only build three walls at a time, this is going to take a very long time. But I mean, this is still just a first episode. I mean, it, of course, if we don't want it to be over immediately, it's. I mean, half the fun is is the process of figuring this stuff out. And if it takes some time, it takes some time. I don't know if we should. I don't know if what the right answer is. Should we build the wall? So hold on. Let's go to our chop tool. I don't know if it makes sense or if it'll look right if we built the wall. Like that. Oh, maybe it does automatically puts floor there. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay, that's cool. Okay, let's go back. We're going to have to put some windows and stuff in there too. Ah, it's nice having those two sawmills going. Perfect. Wonderful. Grab that. Grab that. Great. So now we can build four walls at a time. And if, if necessary, we can always take the wall out and put it back. So it's not like we lose it if we have to take it down. So let's... Oh, perfect. Like so. Yes. Excellent. One more here. Oh, and I guess we've got to chop that down. Perfect. We're going to have to chop this down too as well. We can barely see what's on the other side of here. Oh, we've got this one. We're going to chop that. That gives us a little bit more wood too as well. And I think that's it. So two... Yeah, I think... I don't think we can build any more walls. We've got to go back. We'll have our room here in no time. And I'm thinking what we should do now maybe is turn one of these sawmills into building the other type of wood that we need. We're going to also need decorative planks. So this will produce five decorative planks per piece of wood. So we'll do that. And the decorative planks are going to be used to build our bed because I think we're pretty much set for walls. Well, we might need a couple more here to finish it off. I don't know if the room has to be sealed or not. I guess we've got to eat. And actually, you know, we should probably call this an episode, but the first thing next episode, we're going to start growing some crops too as well because we're running low. I mean, we're going to run out of bread very, very quickly. So we want to make sure that we've got some oats growing so that we can make some more with our furnace. Anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed the first episode of Orcish Inn. It's humble beginnings, guys, humble beginnings. Eventually, this will be the most magnificent, busiest inn in all of Orkland. <laughs> all right, guys, take care.